we have this expression a plus a star b minus c plus b minus c into d here b minus c is in brackets so we have to evaluate it t1 is equal to b minus c so a plus a star p1 plus t1 into d so what we have to evaluate it a star t1 so i am taking its result t2 is equal to a star t1 okay this will be evaluated because star has the same precedence but it is left associated and in while scanning from left to right it's coming first so i will evaluate it okay now this is a plus t2 plus t1 into b so i have to evaluate this expression now t3 is equal to t1 into d okay so now it will be a plus t2 plus t3 so i will if i will take the result a plus t2 plus t3 a plus t2 plus t3 so i will evaluate because plus sign is here a with i will evaluate this plus sign with t1 so t4 will contain a plus t2 a into t1 okay now t5 will be equal to t4 plus t3 okay we shall see what is happening here bracket is evaluated first minus so this is stored in t1 okay p minus c is in t1 now i am multiplying a against t1 so i am taking the result of t1 and i am multiplying with a a is not here i am using a from here okay now b minus c into d so b minus c is here i am taking result from here b minus c into d so i am using d so what's happening now a plus a into b minus c a into b minus c is stored in t2 and t1 into d is stored in t3 okay so now what is happening t4 contain is containing a plus t2 t2 is here plus e1 is here i'm taking result of t2 and i'm adding with a so its result is in t4 now t5 t4 plus t3 t4 is here and t3 is here plus t5 so this is the directed a cyclic graph for this expression we have expression in bracket x plus y minus bracket bracket x plus y bracket close into in bracket x minus y bracket close and this is one part of expression and this is another part of expression this is being added with this part so bracket is evaluated first so i will evaluate this bracket so x plus y will be evaluated first so i will take its result in t1 which will be x plus y okay now what is happening this result is evaluated in the bracket x plus y which has already been evaluated in bracket so i will take result of this uh, x plus y which is stored in t1 and other is x minus y x plus y has been evaluated now i have to evaluate x minus y so i will take its result in t2 which is x minus y okay now i have to multiply this x plus y with x minus y so i am taking its result in t3 x plus y which has been evaluated already Okay, and its result is in t1. So I will take t1 here and into x minus y, which is evaluated in t2. So I am taking multiplication of t1 in t2. Okay, 
I have to evaluate this expression first because this is one expression and this is another expression. So x plus y minus this result. In this, in this expression also, this is one expression and this is another expression. Okay. This expression is being subtracted from this expression. So uh, x plus y is with t1. So I am taking its result, which is in t4. T4 is equal to this x plus y is in t1, t1 minus x plus y into x minus y, which is in t3. So I am subtracting t3 from t1. So we have evaluated this result, this expression. Okay. Now I have to evaluate this expression x plus y into x minus y. x plus y into x minus y, which has already been evaluated and its result is with t3. Okay, so I will take this result directly because this has been evaluated in bracket already. So t5 will contain this result which is in t4. So I am using t4 here. t4 plus this x plus y into x minus y is in t3. So this is the 3 other score for this expression. Now I will uh, construct directed acyclic graph for this expression plus a b x plus y is, its result is in t1. To understand I am writing these variables here. t1 is containing a plus b. Now t2 is containing x minus y. So not this is not a or b, this is x and y. So I am taking x and y. X minus y is, is being contained by t2. So I am taking minus sign here. x1 from here, y x from here and y from here. And its result. This is the minus sign. And its result is in now, T3 is containing the product of T1 and T2. This is product of T1 and T2 and its result is stored in T3. Okay. T4 is containing the difference of T1 and T3. T1 is here and T3 is here. It's a difference. And it's being contained by T4. Okay. And T5 is containing the sum of T4 and T3. T4 is here. T4 is here and T3 is here. Sum. Plus T3. Okay. So x plus y. x minus y. x plus y into x minus y is here. x plus y into x minus y has been evaluated. Now, this is the result of x plus y minus x plus y into x minus y, which is being contained by t4. And t5 is containing the result of t4. t4 was containing this, this expression. And t3 was containing this expression. So, its uh, result is stored. In t5. So this is the directed acyclic graph for this expression, and these are the three address codes. This is the three address code for this expression.